Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the social media icon hover effect using HTML and CSS. Have a look at this demo, which we are going to achieve at the end of this video. And when we resize the browser width below the 800 pixels, we can see the horizontal icon hover effect turning into the vertical. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. Let's get started by writing the HTML structure. First, consider the development with a class wrapper. And within that development consider the unordered list with 5 list items. Here I am going to use the font awesome icons. Font Awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the Font Awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open Font Awesome website then navigates to icons, then search for icons whichever you want, including that element into your HTML structure. For the time saving purpose, I had opened the icons whichever I want, before starting this video. Just see how I'm going to include the icons into HTML structure. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the background color to the body. For placing any HTML element in the center, one of the easiest ways is to make the element's position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Now style the unordered list, by setting its list style value to none, and set its width and height. Now style the list items, by setting its width height, and float them to left. Now set the 3 pixels solid white border. Give the 36 pixels of the margin right for gap between the icons. Set the 25 pixels of the border radius. Set the position value to the relative, so that we can place its child elements accordingly. Finally, use the transition property for the smooth transition effect.
now set the last list items margin right value to zero, so that the child items are aligned properly. Now place the icons properly in the center, make the elements position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Set the white color and increase the size of the icons using font size property. Now whenever we hover over the list items, its background color turns into the white, and white shadow effect is created, and icon's color changes. Now using the CSS media queries, set the max width value to 640 pixels, so that whenever we resize the browser window, we can see the horizontal icons turning into the vertical icons. Now set the width of the unordered list and give top margin to the list items. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.